Hello guys, long time no talk. Um, I figured I would make a video because today is my birthday. I turned 20 dot 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 dot. Yeah, that's it. Um, but anyways, I decided to look up things that happened on my birthday during the year I was born. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay? Okay. It's gonna be kind of hard because if I tell you my year, then you're gonna know how old I am, which you know what? I don't even care. Whatevs. Okay. Anyways, it was the 25th of Monday of 1993. There you go. We're already in it. If you were born on this day, your birthday numbers are 6, 21, and 1993. Well, obviously. Reveal that your path number is four. Your zodiac sign is Gemini with the ruling planet Mercury, but also I am a cusp, Gemini, and Cancer. Uh, the generation. Okay, let me see. This date was 10,227 days ago. What the fuck? In 2022, June 21st will be on a Wednesday. 1993 is the year of the rooster. Hello. I've been alive for 28 days, 13 hours, and 17 minutes. Oh my God, that's amazing. I have slept for 3,409 days or 9.34 years. Um, I've been alive 336 months. Um, I've been alive 245,461 hours. I am 14,727,673 minutes old. Wow. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. So it was the 25th of Monday of that year. It was also the 176th day and sixth month of 1993 in the Georgi Georgian calendar. The next time you can reuse 1993 calendar will be in 2021. Both calendars will be exactly the same. Shit. So if I had a 1993 calendar, I could use it now because it's the exact same as 2021 calendar mind blown i didn't even know that was a thing i've slept 33 percent of my life obviously um okay here we go number one song on my birthday the number one song in the u.s on the day of my birth was that's the way love goes by janet jackson i am mad about that now the num this is cool the number one song on my 14th birthday which was my jam still love this song to the day is Umbrella by Rihanna featuring Jay-Z. That's fucking cool. It told me that. Wow, 2007, I was 14 years old. Oh my God, I'm so... S it literally says, celebrities born on June 21st, 1993. You share a birthday with no one at this time. I guess because 1993. But I do know I share birthdays with people from June 21st, like um, Prince William. He was born June 21st even though I like Harry, so whatevs. Okay, what happened on June 21st? 1788, US Constitution, con US Constitution comes into effect when New Hampshire is the ninth state to ratify it. Nice. 1854, first Victoria Cross won, blah, blah. first Victoria Cross won during bombardment of Barmsund, and Aland Island, sorry. I don't know how to fucking say that. I'm sorry. Crimean War. 1948. Lord Mountbatten resigns as Governor General of India, formerly the last Viceroy, I think I'm saying it right. Sorry. It's like back in this time. I don't fucking know. Sports in 1993. NBA. Chicago, Chicago Bulls beat Phoenix Suns 4-2 to to win the NBA Finals. Nice. And it NHL, Montreal Canadiens beat Los Angeles Kings 4-1 to to win the Stanley Cup. All right, shit. NFL, Dallas Cowboys beat Buffalo Bills 52-17 to to win the Super Bowl on January 31st, 1993 in California. Boy, get that 52-17. to Shit. MLB, Toronto Blue Jays beat Philadelphia Phillies 4-2 to to win the World Series. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see. Next page. My path number is four. I have four. So on this page, it's basically just me. Okay. 
What does life path number four mean? Life path number four represents growth, building, and foundation. You are practical, down to earth, with strong ideas about right and wrong. Totally agree. Totally agree. I am down to earth, and I am very down to earth with strong ideas about right and wrong. I, I know what is right, and I know what is wrong. I'm good on that. Believe that. Okay. So, even though I'm a cuss, but these people seem to be forgetting that. Like, what the hell? Because at the time I was born, which was 5.36 a.m., I am a Cancer and a Gemini, so I'm a cuss. And I, I do relate to a Gemini, but I 100% relate more to a Cancer. So to me, I'm more of a Cancer. People who are born on June 21st in 1993 sign is Gemini. Gemini's life pursuit is to explore a little bit of everything. Agreed, okay. A secret desire to be, a hot, to be ahead of the crowd. People of the zodiac sign like music, yes. Books, I do, if I would just read more. Magazines, amen to that. Chats with nearly anyone, yeah. My social, my social anxiety would not agree with that. Sorry, no, <laughs> no. Short trips, yes. Now, dislike. Dislike being alone. Totally, ops, totally not true. I love being alone. Like, more than anything, I love being alone. I would rather be alone than with a group of people or even one person. Just saying. Dislikes being confined. Okay. Dislikes uh, repetition, which I get that, yes. Dislikes routine. Honestly, I prefer to have routine. I, I like to plan things out and have my own routine. Like, I have my routine for work. I like my routines. Strengths of the sign are gentle, affectionate, curious, adaptable, able to learn quickly, Depends. I mean, in school I sucked. And exchange ideas. Ooh, I love that. Weaknesses can be nervous. Ugh, amen. Anxiety. Inconsistent. Meh. And indecisive. Oh my god, so true. I am so indecisive. I hate it so much. I'm so indecisive. Ah, I hate it. The greatest overall compatibility with Gemini is a Sagittari Sagittarius or Aquarius. Nice to know. Phone, stop listening to me. My phone's listening to me again. My planet, my ruling planet, is Mercury. Mercury is a planet that rules our mindset. People who are born with Mercury as the ruling planet have communication skills, intellect, and cleverness. Oh, I like. I agree. Yes, I'll take it. Uh, the birthstone for June 21st, 1993 is Pearl. I knew about Pearl, but I didn't know about these two. Moonstone and Alex... Alex... Alex Streit? Alex Streit? Alex Streit? I don't know how to fucking say that. Wow, I suck. Anyways, let's move on. Oh my god. Okay. The pearl is a symbol of purity. Oh, I'm so pure. No. Um, but I do love pearls. Oh. Ancient Greeks believed they were the cheerful... Ancient Greeks believed they were the joyful tears of Aphrodite, goddess of love. Oh my god, I love that. I did not know this. This is so much in depth and other stuff. The moonstone was named by the Roman naturalist Pliny, who believed that the stone's appearance changed with the phases of the moon. This is so fucking cool. You guys gotta check this shit out. It is also known as the Traveler's Stone. Oh my god, am I gonna, like, travel? Like, do I need a time machine? Or am I gonna be like the time traveler's wife? Am I gonna be able to travel places? I wish. I... I wish, and has a reputation reputation for protecting travelers at night and over water. Terrified of water, so that's good that it protects me. <laughs> okay, now to the one that I cannot pronounce. Alex Streit. I'm just going to go with that. Was named after the Russian Sazer Alexander II, who came of age on the day the gem was discovered in 1834. Wow. According to legend, it was found in Russian emerald mines, and its colors changed from bluish green in daylight to a purplish red when viewed beneath the light of an in incandescent bulb. Po poets have called it an emerald by day, a ruby by night. Oh, I love that. So that's my birthstones. I love that. Okay, the birth flower for June is rose. The rose is the June birth flower. Its sweet fragrance and timeless beauty heralds the advent of summer like no other bloom. The name rose is derived from the Latin word rosa. During the height of Rome, roses were grown extensively in the Middle East and used as medicine, perfumes, and at celebrations as confetti. Oh, I love that. Okay. 1993 is a millennial's generation. Yes. Um, also known as Generation Y or Echo Boomers. 
because millennials are often the children of the baby boomers. Boomers, Millennials is a generation who grew up with computers, internet, and social networks. Having been raised under the mantra, follow your dreams. I think we're still all being raised on that. Follow your dreams. Always follow your dreams. And being told they were special, they tend to be confident and tolerant of difference. I mean, I'm not confident, so what the fuck? Um, hello. And you think by saying, well, you had social networks, that you would think by saying that, that alone would be like, eh, they probably don't have great confidence. Which, that's not the reason I don't. I just don't have great confidence. 1993 is obviously part of the 90s. The 1990s is often remembered as a decade of peace, prosperity, and the rise of the internet, World Wide Web. Yep. Back when we had MySpace, and AOL, and AIM. So, yeah. Back in that time, guys. Back in that time. VHS tapes. How do you think I watched Grease? Grease 2? VHS. Um, okay. In 1992, the first text message was sent. That's fucking cool. DVDs were invented, Sony PlayStation was released, and Google was founded in 1992. That is so fucking cool. Oh, and the Soviet Union fell, and boy bands ruled the music charts. Backstreet Boys. Um, what's the other one? That is totally blank. And NSYNC. There we go. <clears throat> okay. I am a rooster. Rooster people are honest, observant, and hardworking. I would 100% agree. I am, unless you want me to lie, I'm going to be totally fucking honest. I am a person who is very anxious, and so I'm more of an observer than an interactor, so I do definitely do observe people. And hardworking, I would say yes. I do work hard at my job, and I work hard at, what, at things I have to do. I'm not going to slack. Simple as that. They seldom rely on other people in daily life. True. I try to just rely on myself. Honestly, in my opinion, the only person you can really depend on is yourself, which might be sad to some people, but at the end of the day, you can only rely on yourself, which can make them impatient when dealing with others. Okay, yeah, that's true. I do get impatient with other people. Not because of that, but just because I can get impatient for other reasons. Okay, this year though, 2021, is the year of the ox. Well, all right, it's not my year, but okay. Okay. Ooh, the most popular baby names in 1993. Okay. Uh, did you, ooh, wow. There were an estimated 134,310,651 babies born throughout the world in 1993. That's a lot of babies. <laughs> a lot of babies. The estimated number of babies born on June 21st, 1993 is... 367,974, or about 256 babies every minute. Damn. In 1993, the most popular baby girl name was Jessica. It was given to 34,988 girls. Damn. For boys, it was Michael and was given to Michael Times in 1993. I don't know what that means, but okay. The world population in 1993 was 5 billion five hundred eighty eight million zero nine ninety four thousand eight hundred and thirty seven holy shit well we're definitely not there anymore okay so let's see I think that's it oh wait okay so what is numerology your path number is based upon your date of birth. Each number from 1 to 9 holds a vibration, and each vibration produces a predictable characteristic or outcome around it. This is what I like right here. Numerologists believe that we all had previous lifetimes. I love that. And maybe, honestly, I'm here for it. I, we could have. Very well could have. And I'm here for it. I did all that. Okay. So. Oh, first, before I get into this. So, if you guys want to, like, look up your birthday and, like, the year, the day, the month, all that, I honestly recommend this website because it gives you so much in-depth about your birthday that it's so fucking cool. And it is birthdayanswers.com. So, if you want to check that out, I highly recommend. But, real quick before we end it, people born on my birthday, one of them I'm extremely happy about and did not know, Edward Snowden. Yeah, whistleblower really the guy who told the truth and then people wanted to call him a whistleblower and a traitor but really 
he was telling the truth because the government doesn't tell the truth to us and he decided you know what fuck that i'm gonna tell the truth and thank you for that i appreciate it fuck you government hide and shit chris pratt did not know that lana del rey yes meredith baxter marriott hartley prince william gretchen carlson judy holiday jane russell Jesse Smollett, ugh, I don't like him ever since that whole shit happened. Juliette Lewis, Kate Brown, Tony Scott, let's see, Tyler Childers, Bernie Koppel, Michael Gross, oh wow, Rebecca Black, I forgot her birthday is the same as mine. Oh my god, that's so cool. Sharna Burgess, Monte Markham, Darius Goose, I don't know how you say that, but I hope I said it right. Uh, let's see. Maggie Sith. Oh my god, Son of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy. Oh my god, that's so cool. Theodosa Burr Alston, 1783. That's fucking cool. Who else? Let's see. Oh my god, Smallville. Erica Durrance. Let's see. Who else do I know? Michelle Wolf. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Another whistleblower on my birthday? No fucking way. Okay. I, I was thinking of someone else. Okay, I was about to say, another whistleblower on my birthday? Awesome. Like, yes. Oh my god, this is so fucking cool. Like, I love finding out this kind of shit. To me, it's just so fucking intriguing. So yeah, that is basically let me just put this over here so yeah also got a scream shirt on because iconic just fucking love this movie iconic iconic but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i mean i i i think i'll post it i probably will post it hopefully i post it i don't know we'll see you know i always end up making videos and then never posting them and then yeah so life story right there indecisive or just questioning everything but anyways i thought this would just be like a fun little video to make and just also very interesting to me because i didn't know half this shit and like this website gave me so much more information than other websites so like i'm like like that was so cool to me some of the stuff i was reading i was like what and then to find out all these other people who have birthdays on june 21st that i didn't even know about like edward snowden Hello, did not know that, and I totally forgot about Rebecca Black. That's fucking cool. Chris Pratt, that's cool. Like, yeah. So, oh, Lana Del Rey, can't forget her, yes. I mean, they're all fucking cool. Like, oh, it's just so cool. But yeah, so I figured I'd just make this little video, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know, just something I wanted to do. And, yeah, so hopefully I post it. I don't know, we'll see. I'll upload it to my computer now and probably... Uh, edit and all that and then hopefully upload it. Let's hope so. I don't know. I'll probably watch it back and be like, uh, no. No. But, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, you know, I hope you guys are being safe, having a great day, great morning, great night, whatever it may be, evening, being kind to others, trying to, you know, not let the world around you get to you too much focus on yourself your mental health number one priority but also don't forget be kind you know even though others might not be kind to you you should still be kind you know just with the world the way it is now with all the violence we need kindness we need good people and so just remember that so i hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully i'll talk to you guys again soon all right bye